You're looking at the most advanced driving simulator in the world located here at the Automotive Research Development Center here in Windsor, Ontario. The vehicle driving simulator is uh, quite unique here in North America. We're the first to have it. What it provides us is a savings in time. So we can actually reduce the development cycle by several months. What it does is it actually bridges the gap between virtual engineering and prototype physical testing. We can actually put a highly defined model into the simulator and, a, and the test engineer can actually determine or assess the interaction between the vehicle itself and the uh, subsystems within the vehicle such as brake steering and suspension to obtain the most optimum design as well as safest vehicle. Typical simulators have six degrees of freedom. This has an additional three degrees of freedom. The table itself sits on a, a three micron cushion of air which uh, acts as if it's an uh, air hockey puck where the air instead of coming from the table itself, it's coming from the puck. It actually allows the, the entire cab to, to translate and move which gives it that bending feel that a driver might feel, that uh, centrifugal force that a driver might be, might be feeling as well while we're developing the, uh, the actual uh, road profiling on the vehicle. Additional three degrees of freedom, it gives the driver the ability to test our smallest vehicle from the Compass all the way up to our largest vehicle, which is the Ram 3500, and they can get uh, real world, real field conditions. So we have a long-term vision for the ARDC, and that is to utilize this driving simulator as the pinnacle of what we want to do. We have several labs here, which include the brake development testing, steering system development testing, seat development testing. It occurs here at this facility, and we're currently adding a hardware loop adjacent to this particular lab here. So in essence, we're going to take all of those assets that we have, actuate and apply the test there, and the driver will receive the signal while they're driving the cab. And that will give them an actual real-world experience with real events that are occurring with real hardware.